This is my first experiment with my radiation detector. I bought two pieces of fish today, Alaskan fish. And let's see what the meter shows us. As you can see, right there. I bought a piece of salmon today from Alaska. But it actually would be salmon that was that was caught last year and it was frozen and now it's thawed. So I wanted to put it up against my inspector. I'm about five inches from it, and I'll put it a little bit closer. I'll lay it right on top of it. Now I'm trying to figure out what number is going to be unsafe for me to eat. So we'll leave it on here for a couple minutes and see what uh, number we pick up off of this. Now this would be Alaskan salmon that was caught last year. Then it was frozen and it just dawned to me, let's test, since I just received my detector, let's test a piece of salmon that's from Alaska. Supposedly, a lot of the water, contaminated water that's coming out of Japan, is ending up in those areas around Alaska. And I'm just curious if there's any radiation that's getting into the fish or what. So, this is one of my first tests. I also bought a piece of wild cod fillet from Alaska. And that will test next. And also now we're going to switch it to the other setting. Now this seafood has been bought at a local supermarket in Cleveland, Ohio, USA. I'll switch it back to counts per minute. Now I would think that if you have counts that are ranging over the hundred mark and above, then I would maybe think that it might not be safe to eat but 35 it went up to 40 really not much more than that I'm gonna eat it because I paid a lot of money for it it is wild now if it gets up into if it would have read a hundred or two hundred counts per minute then I would probably throw it out I might go back and re try to return it, get my money back, but I don't know how that would fly. Oh yeah, um, 
I, I don't want my salmon anymore because it's radioactive. Could I have my money back? <laughs> Alright. Alright, let's try now the wild cod. Alaskan wild cod. Put this on the side. Actually, what we'll do is pull it all the way out. Let's open it all the way up. I'm going to have to hold it now so I don't contaminate this box. Well, I'm definitely getting a higher reading now that it's open. And I don't know what's causing that. If the packaging was keeping in some of that radiation. My, uh, my curiosity is, what was the background radiation before Fukushima? Alright, well it's basically in the 30s, it went up to 40s, mid 40s. Nothing too alarming though. Set this on the side here. Hold this over. Hold on. Now let's pull out the cod, Alaskan cod. Let's fold this over so the pieces are concentrated. Move it over so we can see it. Here we go. Now this is the fresh, not frozen and thawed, wild cod bought today, February what is it, February 2nd? No, today's February 9th, I'm sorry. 
Now this one would have come out of the waters this year, whereas the salmon came out from last year's water. So my guess would be that the water is more contaminated this year than last year. But it still was contaminated last year, I'm, I'm guessing. Alright, doesn't look too bad. Picking a pot spot there. <laughs> Just kidding. Alright, that's it. Don't look too bad. It's in a range that's like, I think between the 20s and 40s. I wouldn't want it any more than that. If it was up in the 200s and above, I would seriously think twice about eating it. But this is an unscientific test to begin with, so take it for what it's worth. Whoa, there is a little bit of activity going on on this piece over here, on this end. Well, to be continued. I'll be testing more pieces in the future. Let me put it back up on this guy. So anyways, this is what's left of the salmon after six takes, and it's only a little piece left. But basically I cooked it in a stainless steel pan with a cover on it. I put the skin side down. I put about two or three drops of sesame oil, and I squirt a half of a live lemon for the juice. I put a generous amount of curry powder on top of the salmon filet. I covered it and cooked it on a very low flame for about 15 minutes. So when you're done, the piece that you don't want is this bottom part. So it's, you can see the thickness on this side, it's easier to show. And basically you want to take that piece off. That's the yucky part. It comes off real easy. Push it to the side. And let me try another piece. Dip it in your favorite sauce. I got a, a lemon dill sauce is what I'm using. It's fantastic. And that's it. So this is a salmon caught from 
the fall of 2011. So we'll see what this next coming year tests. So that's it. Enjoy your salmon while you can.